Here's a really easy way to convert your WooCommerce checkout page into a Shopify style checkout page that's perfect for selling your digital products. So currently your WooCommerce checkout page is probably set up like this. Under WooCommerce and settings and then advanced, here under page setup and checkout page is where you set the page that is going to be your checkout page. And if we go over to pages, and I search for checkout, we can see that this is that page and it has the hyphen and checkout page here, letting it know that it is in fact the correct page. If we click into this, this will roughly be what you currently see as your checkout page. Now I say roughly because if you're using the block builder here for your checkout page, then it will look like this. If we open it up over here and in list view, expand this, we have a checkout and then inside there, we have the blocks that make up our checkout form. This is a default way that WooCommerce builds your checkout page using the block editor. Now, we're not actually going to customize this page here. In fact, we're going to ignore it entirely. And we're going to activate a plugin that is going to overwrite this with a Shopify style checkout. So to do that, let's go to plugins and then add new plugin. And in the search bar, type Funnel Kit Funnel Builder and install and activate this plugin here, Funnel Builder for WordPress by Funnel Kit. I have this installed and activated. And if I come down to plugins and then installed plugins, if I search for Funnel Kit Funnel Builder, you can see that I have two plugins here in my website. The first one here that's active is the free version of the plugin. I'll show you some of the features that you get access to in the pro version that are related to giving you that Shopify checkout experience. But let's start with the free version and create our Shopify checkout page. I'll go down to Funnel Kit and then click on Store Checkout. And then over here, I'll click Create Checkout. And the first thing to do is choose the page builder that you're using. So if you're using Elementor, here are some templates, the block editor, Divi, Oxygen, the customizer. And if you're using something like Bricks, you would use short codes. You'll notice if we go to Elementor and the block editor, the templates are the same. So it's just built using a different page builder, but you get access to the same templates. So in my case here, I'm gonna be using the block editor. So with that selected, I just need to go and choose a design. Now over here, you can see that there is a crown icon indicating that this is a pro version. So if I click preview, you'll notice that the design here for this checkout page looks exactly the same as Shopify's. But I wanted to point this out because this is a pro version, but if we get out of this, over here, this one called Hiific or Hific is actually a free version. And if we click here, you'll notice that it's not identical to Shopify's design, but it's mostly the way there, say 80%, maybe even 90% if we change this background color to a gray color. But overall, this is what it looks like. So in this case, let's go ahead and start with this. So I'll go import this template and I'll call this store checkout free and click add. Now, once people complete our checkout page, we need to redirect them to a thank you page. And we can actually go ahead and repeat the process for that. So I'll click add new step. And then up the top here, I'll select thank you. And over here, we have a matching thank you page template to the checkout page that we just used. So I'll go and import this template. I'll name it thank you free and click add. Then we'll click enable store checkout. And now this is active in our store. So when a visitor adds a product into their cart and then they click to go to checkout, they land on our brand new Shopify style checkout. They put in their details and when they're ready, they can click to place their order and then they're redirected to our thank you page. Let's go ahead and repeat the process, but this time I'll go ahead and activate the pro version. So here under funnel kit and store checkout, up here I'll click add new step. And then with checkout selected, I'll choose my page builder and then I'll click on this one here to preview it. And as you can see, this is really close to Shopify's design. What you can also do as part of the pro version is enable a multi-step checkout. So up here where it says one, I could click on two and three. And what this does is it splits the WooCommerce checkout form into three different steps which makes the checkout form a little bit shorter and a little bit less overwhelming for your customers. I'll show you this in action in just a second. So with our template selected, I'll click import this template. 
I'll name it Checkout Pro and click Add. Then I'll click Add New Step and then select Thank You and I'll find the matching Thank You page and preview it. So it will look like this, nice and clean. And then we'll click Import this template. I'll give it a name and click Add. Then I'll enable my store checkout. And now customers can add products into their cart. And when they click to go to the checkout page, they land on our Shopify style checkout page. There's a couple of features here that you'll see that are included as part of the pro version. So I'll point them out as we go through the checkout process. So your customers would land here and they'd see the multi-step checkout up the top here. So that's the pro version. They'd put in their details here. With the shipping address, with the pro version of Funnel Kit, you can enable Google address autocomplete. So they could start typing here. And as they type, it would autofill the address. I don't currently have that active here, but that is possible. Then once they put in their details, they would click proceed to step two, which is shipping. They could review their details here. They could select their shipping method. I don't currently have one set up in this store, but once they select their shipping method, they would click proceed to payment. They'd review the details up the top here, and then they'd put in their credit card info. And when they're ready, they would click to place their order. Over here on the right-hand side, you have your collapsible order summary, which is also a mini cart. So if we go and view what this would look like on a mobile, it would look like this where they could expand this and see their cart and then minimize that and then continue through the checkout process. You'll find the multi-step checkout works really well for optimizing the checkout experience for your mobile devices for customers because it gets a big long checkout form and splits it up into the smaller sections so that the page isn't as long. And a shorter page is just less disorientating for a user on a small mobile phone. So again, they can go back through the steps if they need to update anything. And as they go through the different steps, the information they entered on the prior steps is shown up the top here where they can catch any errors. And if they you know, enter the wrong street address, they could click change, come back here, update that. Maybe it's supposed to be one, two, four, and then go back through the checkout process. So if we go through proceed to payment, and then I just exit out of the mobile viewer, and then we said place order now, we land on the thank you page. And here's what customizing the checkout page looks like in the block editor. But if you're using something like Elementor, it's gonna work exactly the same. You'll enter the builder mode and then click on the different modules that you wanna edit. And for the block editor, we can see the different settings over here. So for the different step headings here, we could go to steps and we just go through and change these. So maybe instead of the breadcrumb, we want tabs. And over here, now you can see they're larger tabs. We can change the headings if we wanted to do that. Then under style, you can style the elements. So under steps and then color, the active step, we could change the background color to be the blue color if we wanted to, or down here for the tab border, we could change that to a blue and the count could also be our blue from our theme. If you're interested in selling your digital products like consulting calls, online courses, eBooks, resources, and you wanna use WordPress and WooCommerce to do so, then definitely check the links in the description below this video to take you to my website where I'll give you more information on how I can help you do just that. Also check out this video here where I show you how to build online courses inside of WordPress without needing to buy an expensive LMS plugin that you might not need. So definitely watch this video next.